And we are back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is part three of verb tenses with Mr. Hubner. Now, remember that we are talking about different verb tenses because they conveyed various times, the sequence that things happen, states and conditions. Now, last time we had gone through the progressive verbs. So these were are verbs that are ongoing actions. So a past progressive occurred in the past over a period of time. Present progressive is occurring right now. And then an ongoing action that will occur in the future. And remember, we for this one, we use the different tenses of to be. So past progressive is was or were plus an ing verb. Present progressive am is are plus an ing verb. And then future progressive is will be plus an ing verb. Now today we are going to be talking about perfect verb tenses. Now a perfect verb tense will it tells the order in which things happened or what must occur before something else can happen. So this really is what we use when we're talking about sequence. Uh, we use a lot in history because history happens in sequence. It happens in an order. So perfect verb tenses are verbs that tell the order in which things happen or the order in which something must happen. So our past perfect verbs show that an action occurred before another action or before another event in the past. So we form this verb tense by using had plus a past tense verb. So the city had built several schools last year. All of these things happened in the past, but they happened in an order. So past perfect had plus a past tense verb. Happening right now, present perfect verbs. Those show an action that occurred at an unspecified time in the past. Whereas past perfect, we know it's, it, it will tell us last year. Present perfect is a little bit different because we don't know exactly when it happened. So we form this with have or has plus a past tense verb. Now this might not make sense because it's like, wait, present perfect, doesn't that mean it's happening right now? Well, this one is slightly different because a present perfect verb, we know that it happened in the past, we just don't know exactly when. So with past perfect, it was had plus a past tense verb. Present perfect is have or has plus a past tense verb. So the city has built several schools this year. Well, it's happening at some point this year, we're just not sure when. So we're still living in the year when all of these schools had been built. We just don't know when. So the city had built several schools last month. Okay. But if it is currently in this month, in this day, in this week, in this year, in this millennia, we would use has plus a past tense verb. Now, future perfect express that an action is going to occur before something else in the future. So this one we form with will have plus a past tense verb. You notice a trend here, past used a past tense verb, present used a past tense verb, and future also uses a past tense verb. What changes is the helping verb that goes with it. Past was had plus a past tense verb. So that makes it past perfect. Present perfect, have or has plus a past tense verb. And then future perfect, will have plus a past tense verb. So by the end of the year, the city will have built several schools. So this is something that is going to happen in the future but it expresses an action that's going to occur before another event. So before the year ends is when all the schools hopefully will be built. 
So by the end of the year, the city will have built several schools. So will have plus the past tense verb built. Each of these uses a past tense verb, but it's what is with it, what is helping it, to, which tells us it, if it is either past perfect, present perfect, or future perfect. So remember, past perfect had plus a past tense verb. Present perfect has plus a past, have or has plus a past tense verb. And then future perfect will have plus a past tense verb. So Ty had visited Kay before she left. So it happened in the past before another event in the past. Ty has visited K. So that happened in the past, but it has ramifications for right now. And then Ty will have visited K before she leaves. So before something happens in the future, this action is going to occur. So before she leaves, so maybe K, maybe K is going on vacation. Before that happens, Ty is going to visit. So simple past, Ty visited. Simple present, Ty visits. Simple future, Ty will visit. Pro past progressive, Ty was visiting. Present progressive, Ty is visiting. Future, Ty will be visiting. And then our perfect tense, which talks about events happening in a sequence. Past perfect, Ty had visited. Present perfect, Ty has visited. Future perfect, Ty will have visited. All right, have a great rest of your day. Make sure that you have completed your entire set of sketch notes, and then you can move on from that into the assessment that you will have to show that, yeah, I do get this. I do understand, but don't worry. If you don't get it right the first time, you do have another chance. But as always, if you have any questions, please come and find me. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.